Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just a uh, quick little, you know, update here. Uh, you know, I, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you this first. But uh, what happened with my uh, loss for time with gaming is that uh, the whole situation, I mean, is that uh, I basically went through yesterday to try to, you know, because they were going to send it back. And they said, yeah, we'll just give you, you know, we'll credit you back uh, for the gun. And you can, you know, either, you know, buy something here or, you know, whatever you want to do. They're going to give me my money back. So uh, I said, okay, that's fine. So I went yesterday to take the gun back. And then I ended up finding out, <clears throat> since I didn't have my receipt, I ended up uh, finding out afterwards that since I didn't have the receipt, that they can only give me a, uh, you know, a gift card. That I can only use it in the store. And that's not what I wanted because I wanted something else. And so here, uh, you know, I was pretty upset. So then today, uh, this morning, I said, you know what, I'm going to go over there. And, uh, well, no, first, actually, I called Sentry up. And then I said, hey, you know, I told him the situation, what happened, and that when I got my Watcher 10 back after it was jamming, that, uh, well, <clears throat> I didn't get my original box. And I said, I think my receipt was in the box. Because uh, I always keep, you know, my firearms receipts either in the, uh, in the box uh, you know, the firearm that they came in, or I have this little drawer on top of my safe, you know, or this little plastic kind of little sliding cheap, you know, drawer thing, you know, uh, that I would keep all the receipts there. And I looked through that, you know, twice, and it wasn't there. And so I said, you know what, I, I, I knew it had been in a box. And sure enough, I called Sentry today, and they said it was after a while. They, they found it, and she says, yeah, we can go ahead and mail it to you and stuff. And, of course, it would probably take about a week. I uh, didn't want to do that, so, <clears throat> you know, they said, you know, they can just uh, send it to the FFL. So, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not to the FFL, or FFL, but to uh, Dunham's. So, basically, that's what they did, and, uh, well, I had to do a lot of running around, because, I don't know, it was just a nightmare. But, anyways, uh, you know, first they said, you know, that, you know, they couldn't do it, because... I already had accepted the gift card, and they couldn't give me my money back. And so finally they talked to the head and people or whoever it was, I forget, and they finally, uh, I guess, told me the situation, or told them my situation. And they probably felt bad for me, so they just said, yeah, just go ahead and, you know, give them the money back. And so that's the situation on that. And so I finally, after a bunch of BS and talking and running around, I finally <clears throat> got my money back, and they finally... Uh, faxed uh, a copy of my receipt for the gun to Dunham so they can have proof that, you know, I have the gun, or, you know, that I got the receipt or whatever. And uh, so they seen how much I paid for it, and basically they credited me back uh, the gun to my credit card, because, of course, at the time I, I used that. I hate using it, but, you know, I ended up using it. <laughs> but, uh, so... That's what that happened. So I'm just waiting for it to show back up on my credit card. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I got it back in there. And this right here is what I think is going to be my next purchase. I happened to just, you know, just because I wanted to, I happened to go on G&G Sales uh, website. And uh, I found this. I had it right on their main screen. Uh, of course, not in this uh, <clears throat> screen, you know, but it's the, uh, the Draco. Uh, mini AK-47 pistol. And they got it for $399. The regular Draco was only $329, but since it's a new thing, you know, of course, they got to raise the price on it, but that's all right. Uh, and, of course, it, it is pretty cool, you know. As you can see, the handguards are different. It has a sh uh, shorter barrel length than the regular Draco. Uh, they actually say, uh, okay, it has a 5-inch barrel and it has a 17-inch overall length. So that's pretty cool. So this actually just got on their website uh, today. Right here, it says Wednesday, May 4th. So this is just, this is brand new. And it's new from Century. So I think once I find out that, uh, you know, my credit card's okay, you know, where I got the money in there, uh, I think this is, I'm going to call them on work uh, tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, of course, if, money, you know, the uh, money's in there, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, place an order for this guy right here. And, uh, you know, I was going to get the, the regular Draco, but of course they don't have any. And, uh, 
who knows when they're going to get them. And, uh, you know, my local dealer has one, unless if he sold it already, but he has one. But, uh, you know, it's like 459 bucks or something like that. So I was like, eh, no. <laughs> so that's just a little too uh, high when I know I can get it cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, order from here. And another thing they have that's brand new, too, they have the regular Draco. But they now have it in 5.56, five, you know, 2.23. You know, you can see right here. This is 3.79. But the only problem I have with this is I don't want a 2.23 because it's just, I want something with a little more kick. And the other thing is that, uh, of course, the ammo usually tend to be more expensive. Uh, and the other thing is that uh, I think the main problem is that the magazines are probably going to be hard to find. And I like the fact that I can use my 40 rounders and 75 round drum in the 7.62 by 39 cartridge. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to get that instead of this uh, 223 version. But uh, <clears throat> it'd be cool if they came out with a uh, uh, 5 for 5 by 39 cartridge. That'd be pretty cool, like 74. But at least I have my 40 or 45 rounder for that, and that'd be still pretty fun. You know? And the magazines are a lot easier to find probably than the 223 version. But I just want to show you before I, you know, run out of uh, time here, because my phone's only good for about like eight minutes, I would say, and it's already like 6:28. But uh, today I shot somebody's 12 uh, gauge shotgun that he never shot before. He inherited it from somebody at uh, side by side, and of course uh, I got some big chunks of skin missing out of my fingers and a big red spot, and you know, right on my shoulder. And my shoulder is killing me. And what happened was is. Uh, I found out that, you know, it's an older one, and it uh, was firing both uh, barrels at once. But uh, the trigger guards actually got my fingers and cut them up pretty bad. I mean, there were big gouges missing out of them. And uh, he was thankful that he didn't uh, shoot the gun first, and I did. So, <laughs> so yeah, that kind of sucks about that. So I just wanted to show you some more wounds, even though I didn't show them because I'm trying to let them heal. But, uh, yeah, just today, you know, everything with, you know, with my Monster 10 situation and me getting injured today has just been one of the worst days. And I had to go to Dunham's like three times, <clears throat> you know, just a few things that happened, you know, where I had to leave and come back. And it's, I think it was like three times and I had to go home and then come all the way back to Dunham's at the end and, you know, because I forgot my card. And, I mean, just everything is just, just a complete, complete, complete nightmare. <clears throat> excuse me, a complete nightmare, and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> and with that gun, you know, hurt me, man, I was, that was a wrap of the day of shooting, because I was bleeding bad, I mean, it was a few layers of skin, I mean, a good few layers, I mean, it was just, the skin was, uh, you know, hanging off and everything, it was nasty, but, uh, all right, well, that's just a few, few little things I had to get off my chest, I guess, so, <clears throat> So that's uh, keep an eye out. Uh, hopefully, I will be uh, getting this guy right here. You know, this little mini Draco AK pistol. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty fun. You know, it'll be a shorter barrel, so it's going to be uh, a, a good fire breather, I would say. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, once I find out about the money situation, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place an order for this. Hopefully, I. Can, We'll have it tomorrow, so I can uh, go ahead and order it on lunch tomorrow at work. And then hopefully it'll be in, you know, uh, within a few days or so. You know, it all depends. Uh, <clears throat> who knows, because it's, you know, kind of towards, like, the end of the weekend, so they don't usually ship on Sunday. So hopefully I'll get it by Saturday. If not, you know, I'll probably have to wait till like, Monday or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully not too late, though. It all depends with, uh, you know, with the shipping, but... So stay tuned. This may be my new purchase and replace of that Jamomatic washer tent I had. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.